this. So here it is, the one you've been waiting for, MTB Trail Hub's top 10 trails of 2019. We're gonna give you guys some details and a little bit of info about the trails so you can plan a trip for yourself this year. Coming in hot at number 10, we've got Afan Bike Park, Avan, however the Welsh say it, the Wall Trail, Ewell, it's a 23k loop, uh, 450 meters of climbing, it's some prime single track there. <laughs> a really good venue, got a couple of uh, visitor centers there, pump track, four cross track, a uh, little mini bike park section. And loads of flowy trail. Woo! This is just flowy goodness. Yeah, boy! Woo! What a run! Yeah, Coming in at number nine, we've got Bike Park Wales. I'm sure that will upset a few of you. Everyone loves Bike Park Wales. Number nine, A470 and 50 Shades of Black. Those are the trails, they're my favorites anyway. As you know, Bike Park Wales is a huge facility. If you've never heard of it before, what you're doing. And also, if you're a follower of this channel and you haven't seen my Bike Park Wales videos, what's going on because that is basically the foundation of this channel. The uplifted and just for the amount of trails they have there, 40 trails and you can link some really good runs together. It does come in a bit expensive, 43 quid for an uplift at the weekend. So it gets pricey, but they do deliver the goods. Um, A470 and 50 shades of black, they are prime. A470, jump trail, loads of medium to big size sort of tabletop jumps. And 50 shades of black, just like an all out sort of tech run with a couple of drops, little road gap, and just all out, just hang it out, let the bike do its thing great trails. Coming in hot to number eight is the Southern Enduro Minehead Exmoor Trails. They are seven stages of loamy goodness and you can't ride them out of the event or you're not supposed to, it's on private land I think and it just makes for some awesome riding. It was one of the biggest events of 2019 they had the National Enduro Champs there. And it was prime. Not just the trails, the whole atmosphere of the event was top notch. And yeah, it's the second year I've been back there. And the type of riding it is, is uh, tight, twisty, with some fast sections, with some big sort of loamy bank corners. Uh, it's just got a bit of everything. That swiftly moves us on to number seven. Seventh greatest trail of 2019 was the Ride Southern Spain home trails, which are in Lanjaron. And there are some big descents. You've got thousand plus meters of descent, all rocky, loose terrain. Not all of it's loose, but some great features. And it's pure sort of enduro bike heaven. So a couple of little pedals in there some uh, real technical rock sections. It's hard to actually come across anything that's rougher out there than this. This is like this sort of, this rock base that's just relentless for like a mile or so. Tight switchbacks. And it's one of those places where you can really just like let the brakes open if you dare 
and just hammer it all the way down. And then you've got the villa right at the bottom. Pedro, no siesta. And then you can just shut off straight back up. So there's a good handful of trails there. I'm just including that whole area. Lanharon number seven. Oh. <laughs> Number six <laughs> is Selbach Hinterglen, the Pro Line. Black, Selbach and Hinterglen is uh, part of the whole sort of Leergang area in Austria, and the Pro Line itself is magical. It's a massive line. Um, which ends on some like massively banked corners, quite steep. Whoa. Bit further up, you've got some North Shore features, which are super technical. This is a really tricky, skinny North Shore. You can't see it as you come over the ridge. Nice. Some jumps and then some like crazy little features you don't really see everywhere else. There's like a hip in there as well. Go on, Joe. It's friggin' madness. It's so good. And that place as a whole should definitely be on your radar if you're looking for a trip this year. Woo! Woo That's a bit scary. The area as a whole is just huge and it also is quite closely packed to a few other resorts. So you could make a big road trip out of it. Oh, he's got me. Oh. oh, here we go. Coming in at number five, we've got the Plenty Black Run in Morzine. Woo! Oh, it smokes! How can you make a top 10 list and not mention Morzine? Everyone loves a bit of Morzine. And this run in particular, the Plenty Black Run, is one of dreams. It's, um, it's been there since the beginning of time. Probably one of the, like, the earliest downhill tracks, who knows. Big fun. Into the woods now, the roots start coming up through. And she's pretty well beaten out, but just the overall flow of it is just amazing. You can get some real speed up. This final section also really good. Some tight switchbacks. Some really sort of technical sections if you want them off the side, they kind of break off as you go down the trail. For example, here, we come in out of the woods, some gnarly, some gnarly guys jump over those roots into the main line here, which goes off to the right. You've also got this line, which is a uh, drop track. You've got this line also. What the hell happened? Okay. The other good thing about it is the, the plenty lift. We'll have you up the top in like three or four minutes if there's no queue. <laughs> Chloe, you can really get a lick on. And just as a package, it's bloody awesome. That trail runs good, wet or dry. Woo. So number four, we've got the Swiss National over in the Port de Soleil. The Crozets and the Mozets area is just... The views up there are top notch. I don't think you can get a better view. 
that's up for debate though. Um, the trail itself uh, is a red, I believe. So yeah, quite a few rocks up here. Quite, quite a technical trail, but can be taken at quite slow speed. But you're definitely gonna want spike skill. Woo. Whoa! And it's like, single tracky with some bike park features and berms quite steep in sections but not too bad like if you're a confident blue rider you'd be all right on it um, but also if you're advanced you can properly vomit down some bit of rough rock in the middle and that area as a whole comes in at number five so you've got the crozettes and the mozettes chairlift in the port de soleil um, at the end of the at the end of the Swiss National, it leads you to another trail which you can take on. And there's just no one there. And the berms are sculpted perfectly. It's the best. It is friggin' awesome. So yeah, check that one out. It's just so nice. Knowing you've got so much ahead. We're descending all the way to the valley floor. So at the actual time of release from this video, it might feel like a bit of a kick in the gut, obviously with us all being uh, locked in. Um, but just you just got to think this lockdown is not going to last forever. And as soon as those doors open, those trails are going to be waiting. So get your uh, bucket list prepared because hopefully this summer is going to be a good one. Number three is an absolute Belter. It's coming in from Teams Bike Park called Rock and Ride. You've got a thousand meters of descent and it's one of their enduro style trails. And at the top it starts real loose, then all the it becomes uh, really sort of rocky and sort of bit, pinball-y. Bit rugged. Euro style trail this one. Then turns into a sort of more bike party down the bottom, but a lot of it's single track. It's new from 2019, if only just put it in, and there's no one on it. You'll literally be one of you and your friends on the trail, and it's friggin' awesome. I love what they've done with this trail. Feels like a proper excursion rather than just a, like a bike park lap. To add to it, you jump on the lift in Val d'Isère and the Olympic will have you to the top within five minutes. The lift pass itself in teens is only 10 euros, I believe. So it's a real good deal to be had. Definitely should be on your bucket list. This is so good. So fun! Coming in swiftly with number two, we're talking Revolution Bike Park, The Vision Line. Look at this. But just talking about it brings a smile to my face. It's a trail that is sculpted to perfection it's a pro line some big jumps in it Whew. let's do this it's not one of those trails that's so huge like the 50 to 1 line but it's just unattainable this is doable folks full commitment from here on if you're confident on jumps into this step down big road gap into a step up out on the other side. This line has got around 30 odd hits in it. They've been really creative with all the features. Yeah. There we go. Holy smokes. 
So it really is like next level jump line. And it would be number one if I wasn't so scared when I was hitting it. Big tip. Just made that. Revolution Bike Park as a whole is a must if you like a few bike park laps and techie jumps, that kind of thing, techie trails. Might not have been the prettiest, but I got through. So as soon as I mention number one, everyone's gonna click off this video. So I'm gonna take this time to say, I'm gonna leave uh, like a more in-depth look at all these trails in the description. Also, let us know in the comments, what is your favorite trail of 2019? And give me a shout if there's anywhere you want me to visit and uh, hopefully I can get it planned for 2020. Just finished the red underneath that chair lift. It's amazing. The black's incredible. The red's incredible. Those are some of, that's probably two of one of the, some of the best riding I've ever done. Freaking love it. Well, that's it. We cannot hold off any longer. Number one, we're coming in hot from Liz Arts, everyone. Big round of applause. What a trail. The trail is called Rock and a Roll, and it drops into another trail called Lap 8, which is a black trail. Let's talk about this for a second. So you can take up the funicular trail in Lazar, which is a which is like a train that goes up the mountain. And the chairlift's right there. You take that up and you've got a, a red trail, the, the rock and a roll. It starts pretty rough around the edges. But it gets so good. It's just got an amazing flow to it. It's like a, like a mellow tech trail. So you can attack it real hard. This is so good. Woo. So all you intermediates out there that want to get involved with a bit of roots and some rocks, this one's for you. But also, if you just want to come and rip it up, you could really pin this trail. Woo. And it ends on some white park features. Man, I cannot wait to rip this trail up again. But it doesn't end there. You finish that trail and then you can drop onto the black La 8 trail, which then drops you all the way back down to the bottom of the funicular. So in total, we're talking 1300 meters of descent. This trail's got a lot of height to live up to. Let's hope it delivers. Woo! Straight away, a little rock feature. Yes. So they, it seems like they've made use of the land well. Built up the corners a little bit to make burns out of them, but kept a natural feel to it. It's a little bit steeper than the red, a bit more technical, but the, it's just got great flow and everything about the trail is just amazing. The fact that it just keeps on delivering, it's so good. Got a nice and nice bit of uh, roots and rock. Oh, it's a big old jump. Woo! Big jump if you want it. You wouldn't want to case it. Yes! Woo. Oh yeah! Some big jumps if you want them. Or not. 